last episode, Simon left and we were truly on our own. We drove through the Victorian Highlands, had a few beers at the local microbrewery in Delgetty, until we battled a storm to get down to the coast for some R&R. &R. As we were going to be in Eden for a few days, we decided to jack the canopy off to take the ute for short day trips. We've had a pretty relaxing day today. Um, we've just been doing some editing and pretty much just chilling around the campsite. We went for a swim this morning and for a run. Just come to the, it'd be the north side of Ben Boyd National Park. There's a little walk here that we've just done. It's 600 meters to a lookout of the pinnacles and it's a pretty cool view, red and white rocks. Hey guys, um, so we're just driving into Ben Boy National Park, which is uh, right next to Eden. So we're in the southern part of Ben Boy National Park because if you ever come here, there are two sections, the north and the south. Uh, we went to the north yesterday and just did a little walk around and saw the pinnacles, and then yeah, today we're down in the south end. Um, we've been chilling out for the past few days, but we've got the canopy off, so it's a good opportunity to sort of drive around and explore. So yeah, just going to check it out and see a few little points of interest. clips at the bottom the whole assembly is like it's Matt it's Matt's camp cooking show what you cooking making uh, roti bread because uh, we're having a fish curry tonight so I don't know might be able to show you a little bit of the process I feel um people when they go camping they eat like crap I don't know if they feel like they have to or something but I don't know, put a little bit of effort in, you got the time, it's, and it's pretty easy kind of stuff. Anyways, you'll see. Roti's super easy, water, flour, tiny bit of vegetable oil, just to hold it together. And you mix that up, and then you just got to knead that into a little dough, a ball of dough. Don't you drop that. <laughs> hey, I've got sure hands, I'm, I'm going to drop it. Anyways, there's a dough, don't probably throw it around that hard. Yeah, <laughs> cut it up into four equal portions. We roll these little slices out. 
nice and flat in preparation for the butter. All right, so I've rolled one of my little dough portions nice and flat. Now, one of the most important things about roti is getting that buttery goodness in. Um, to do that, you just get your little basing brush, you get your bit butter, brush it on, all nice like. Now, you're gonna roll it up into a scroll. Roll it up to a scroll. Doesn't have to be pretty. Sound like Jamie Oliver. Ooh. Then you roll that into a little snail shell. So you got layers and all the butter's locked in. And then you just push that flat. Get a little flour. Just roll it out and on my roller. And you roll that out. Sorry. And get it really nice and flat as well. You want roti really flat, um, so crisp up on either side. With your roti, make sure you get a nice hot pan with a bit of oil in there. Vegetable oil or something. There we go. It'll puff up. Chilled Classic Spotify, get on it. Got this uh, fish from local, I don't know, fishmonger, whatever you call him. Uh, he came around to the caravan park, just came around, his little chilled, chilled ute and was offering his wares and I thought well, we're cooking a fish curry, so pretty good that we can get a bit of local produce for the dish. Just um, put in a bit of my homemade curry paste. So good to have a curry paste based because you can put, sorry base because you can put like any meat with it in any combination. You can add coconut cream or water or whatever and it keeps in the fridge for probably six, eight months. In here we have fish, um, chickpeas, potato, carrot, zucchini, broccoli, curry paste and now coconut cream. Yum. So one thing I just wanted to mention, we do have a lot of cooking equipment here. For this dish it is easy to make but you do have to do multiple components so it's just easy to do it all at once. Um, so yeah you can obviously do it with a butane burner but it would just take a bit longer. End result, fish curry, brown rice, and roti. Yummy! It's Matt, it's Matt's Camp Cooking Show. Join us next time as we continue along Victoria's coastline towards Melbourne with a stop at the famous Wilson's Promontory. 